what determination or conclusions have you reached regarding the threshold question of the presence of a severe mental disease for the assessment? The threshold question would be, does he have uh, a serious mental illness? And, it, and it, it, it appeared to me, based on the evidence that I had, that he had a bipolar disorder. Um, um, in particular, uh, one of the psychiatrists had, had spent a lot of time with him uh, and had gathered evidence that he had what they call bipolar one disorder. They're two different kinds, and it's not important why they're different, but um, bipolar one disorder. Um, he, he also had uh, symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, um, which appeared to be from childhood. Um, I thought he had an alcohol use disorder, which means he was drinking way too much and it was impairing his, uh, his ability to function. Um, and I didn't diagnose this because I didn't have the records, um, um, but um, it, it, he may have had ADHD at the same time. That was in the records, but I didn't have the data to make it a diagnosis. Okay. Um, now, I asked this question of Dr. Zeman yesterday, and, and I don't know if you know the answer, but do you know generally speaking, how many Americans have bipolar or are considered to be bipolar? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, it's, it's millions, but, uh, but I don't know what the number is. But that's okay, but it's in the millions. Yeah, yeah. And would you agree that the overwhelming number of people who have bipolar are able to live their life um, without killing anybody? Oh, definitely. Did you find that he was able to appreciate the nature and quality of the actions while he was in, operating in this event? Yes. Um, and were you able, do you, did you find um, evidence or information that he understood the wrongfulness of his actions? Yes. Um, and that is through, well, let me stop there. One thing that was said a lot yesterday by the defendant was that he was just reflexing. He was just being reflexive and just reacting. If someone is reflecting or reflexing, does that mean that they are not aware of what they're doing? No, and many of the statements he made showed that he was aware of what was, what was happening and what he was doing. Overall, what would you say that your opinion is regarding Mr. Wilkes's mental state at the time that this event occurred? What, uh, what I concluded was that he had symptoms of bipolar disorder, but they were in the mild range. That is, they were depression, irritability is one of one symptoms. He had a lot of irritability. Um, so that he did have these these symptoms, but they weren't sufficient to impair his ability to see what was going on, uh, to understand what was happening, and to and to be aware of uh, whether it was uh, right or wrong. Um, most of what he said indicated that he had the awareness, and, and he knew about right and wrong. He was able to talk about it. Okay. 